Now, let's perform some experiments to see how the resistance changes as we heat up a conductor, semiconductor and insulator. Firstly, we're going to be using a tungsten filament as the conductor. You can see initially that the resistance is quite low, but as we heat it up, the resistance increases. This is due to an increased thermal energy and collisions between the electrons and the metal ions within the lattice. Now, for the semiconductor, we're going to be using a germanium rod. You can see here that the resistance is initially quite high. However, as we heat it up, the resistance reduces. This is because we're supplying the electrons with enough energy to cross the energy gap from the valence band into the conduction band. Now for the insulator, we've used a piece of rubber tubing. You can see that the resistance is just so high that our multimeter can't even display the result. This is because the energy gap between the valence band and the conduction band is just so large in insulators.